People move it. We're live in five. Mmm. Say, Bob, what's cooking? It's the Golden Meatball Awards banquet. Year's biggest wingding for Swedish chefs. <laughs> oh, yoy. I just know I'll go home with tonight's Swedish Chef of the Year Award. Uh, hey, Woodpecker, how'd you like a free meal and a chance to make some easy money? Free food and easy money? You've come to the right bird. I need another seat filler for the award show. And when a guest leaves his table, it's your job to sit in his seat. That way, the place always looks full. Eat all you want. Just stay in your seat until the ticket holder gets back and you see his ticket. We get lots of moochers around here. Wow! My three favorite things. Being the center of attention, all the food I can eat, and sitting on my butt the whole night. We'll return with our first Golden Meatball Awards after these words from our sponsor. Ooh, dumplings. Wait, wait, wait. I must see if they are as tasty as mine. An empty seat. Go, 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 go! So, when do we eat? Oh, a seat filler. How tree goes. And now, back to our awards. Oh, boy. This little dumpling was stuffed with roast beef. Huh? Shh! What's the big idea? This is my seat. Oh, yeah? Where's your ticket? <laughs> I seem to have lost it. Well, unless you seem to find it, this seat belongs to Woody Woodpecker, first class seat filler. But I'm Wally Walrus, the great Swedish chef, and I... Shh! Uh, yeah, sorry. Minor misunderstanding. And the award for the best meatball in a side dish goes to Gunter Gustafsson. Bravo! Let me go! That's my seat! By Yemini, that's my seat! I demand you excise that woodpecker from my seat this instant, before I win Swedish Chef of the Year! Sure, just show me your ticket! I lost it! Wait! You can't do this to me! I pioneered the slow pot's meatball! Oh! That woodpecker's goose is cooked now, for sure, you bet. And now, let's bring on our next presenter, the world-famous... Woody Woodpecker. Hey, that's me. Uh, testing, this thing isn't on. Oh, hey, this is such an honor. Oh, you're too kind. Hey, how you doing? Oh, please. Okay. More. <laughs> Oof! 
The award for Swedish Chef of the Year goes to... Hey, yeah. Isn't it an honor just to be nominated? Huh? Am I right? Huh? Am I? Yeah. All right, then. Let's see. The winner is... Mr. Wally Walrus. Huh? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I would just like to say... Get out of my feet! <laughs> my chair! I can't leave my chair! Auf Wiedersehen, my tushy little cushion! <laughs> <laughs> I got my award and my chair. I'm so happy, yeah. <laughs> wow, what a show! Action, drama, shtick! Listen, listen, listen to that applause! You gave the Golden Meatballs just what it needed. How'd you like to host next year's banquet? All the food you can eat! Woohoo! You got yourself a deal! Mm. I knew him when he was just a seat filler, you know. Woody, Woody, Woody! <laughs> Why don't you think to me that nobody watches me? Why cooking with Rufus Ledufus has always been a, how you say, hit show for this station. Listen to this letter from Mr. Sheely Wheely. Dear Rufus, which is moi, please send me all your recipes, ingredients included. Ha! You can't buy a better review for a cooking show. You, you, what? What's the scoop, boss? What's the scoop? Wilbur, we have to liven up the show or the bus is going to fire me, you know. Well, like I've been saying, you gotta make more exotic like dishes, Rufus. Crap, Suzette! An idea has hit my fantastic brain. I got to make more exotic like dishes. <laughs> Get me this penguin. We're going to make gumbo! <laughs> Cooking with Rufus Redufus. I am your humble cooking servant, and today we're going to cook up the most exotic thing that you ever did see. Well, you're not my idea of exotic, but I guess you'll have to do. There you go. We're live at five. Hello there. Uh, welcome to my number one fan, which is you. I got your letter, and uh, welcome to the show, you see. <laughs> you probably want a nice warm bath after your travels, yes? <laughs> there you go. Now everybody will be watching the show, no? Come on back here, you little critter! I am, uh, how you say, cooked in my own jeux. Get back, you little annoying one. I got a show to do. Boss, this ain't no jacuzzi show. We're on in five seconds. Then you better find the penguins in, no? No? Yes! Huh? Just get the penguin! <laughs> Uh, the water is uh, not quite ready, you see. Uh, so, instead, we're going to prepare a penguin uh, gumbo pie. Yeah, the uh, penguin uh, gumbo pie there uh, requires a delicate balance of spices and lava. So, uh, walk with me to the spice rack, and we'll pick up some loving spices. What do you think? Uh, let me see now here. Uh, we're going to make these ingredients sing like crickets on a muggy Sunday. <laughs> Whatever that is. Google it, gumbo! The penguin gumbo pie just makes me so, uh, how you say, exciting. <laughs> uh, why don't we take a little break to calm things down, and then we shall pie that penguin.
thing went up real good, you know. You turned out the lights. Boss, boss! Do you have the penguin? Well, I could find a penguin, but I found an even better kind of exotic animal to live in the show up. What do you think? Uh, hiya, buddy. <laughs> yeah, find a penguin! Uh, yes, yeah, so like I was saying, uh, you cannot serve such exotic delicacies as a penguin gumbo pie and penguin gumbo gumbo without the proper uh, table dressing. Uh, while my assistant puts the uh, finishing touches on the pie, I'll show you how to make your party proper with all the delicious trimmings. <laughs> well, I tell you, nothing says the good life like doilies and the lazy Suzette, no? <laughs> That's why Rufus always recommends the oh, great Google Gambe. And uh, that is to say, uh, sometimes you just got to throw caution to the wind and uh, in the oh. And uh, yes, uh, we'll take a quick break here to clean up. And then it's penguin gumbo pie for all and to all a uh, good night. I'll be right back. <laughs> I have you now. Boss, I think I found it even exotic or animal than the last one. Could it perchance be the penguin? Oh. Ew. I hate seafood. Wow, is that no good penguin? Boss, no, please, the show's back on in five seconds. Ah, don't care about the show, Wilbur. Now it is a show down. Cooking with Rufus Ladoofus, this is Wilbur. Oh, hello, sir. I, I can explain. You see, what? The switchboard is lit up like a Christmas tree for this? They love the penguin? Wilbur, you go get my recipe book, and we shall find a new way to cook penguin, no? Wilbur, what are you doing? Release me this instant! It's your show now, sir, which means I can't let anything bad happen to you. So. What's today's episode about, boss? Uh, welcome to Cooking with Chili. Today, we will be making crawdad gumbo. Yum. Oh, no, you don't. I am not an ingredient. I am a great chef. I shall return and saute you. You shall see. <laughs> Movie fans, Mr. Alias vs. Dirk Danger Spy Wars Part 42 opens in 300 days. I'm Ken Tinselton reporting to you live from the theater that will premiere this blockbuster in 10 months. Right where I'm standing will undoubtedly be a massive line of Spy Wars fans. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm now officially the first in line. <laughs> Folks, this is one true blue movie fan, to be sure. <laughs> this is gonna be fantastical. I'm gonna be the first customary in line. <laughs> this can't be. I'm the number one fan of this particular movie franchise. Ah! <laughs> 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 
182 days, 13 hours and 28 minutes, pal. This spot's mine. We'll flip for it. Tails, I win. I can make a big sale for you, bub. Be right back. Red Hots, get your free hot dogs here. All you can eat. How's about a dog? Just step out of line and up to beefy goodness. I'm a vegetarian. That'll be eight bucks. Hmm. Add this to the bill. <laughs> Dirk Danger, my hero. Symphonies, woodpecker. <laughs> One, please. Oh, why, thank you. Enjoy the show. What? End of the line, pal. No cuts. <sighs> 300 days. And 37 minutes in line. Wasted. One ticket, please. Congratulations! You are the one millionth movie fan here to see Mr. Alias versus Dirk Danger. Yeah, so I was first. But now you've won this amazing spy kit. Plus, you get your choice of any seat in the house and movie tickets for life! Oh, boy! Uh, excuse me, but I want you to have this for all we've meant to each other. No hard feelings. Yeah, sure. Loser. <laughs> Woodpecker! <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. 
like a swell place to spend the night. Oh, yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Hippo. We have the finest honeymoon package here at the Comfy Audible Inn, you bet, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> uh, e. A special in-room massage service, complimentary everything, and commemorative photos will be taken of you and the blushing bride. <laughs> Chauncey, I do hope the rest of the honeymoon package is better than this. <laughs> so sorry. Welcome to the comfy or the balloon. Hey, buddy, why'd you let that big lummox walk all over you like that? The customer is always right, sir. How can I make things right for you? You can stop at the carpet sweeping and tell me how much for a room. Well, our one bedroom is modestly priced at one hundred dollars per night. A hundred bucks? <laughs> the comfy audible inn, Bolivar is speaking. <laughs> but, 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 but this inn shouldn't be sold to some big, big company. Oh, doinky, doinky. When the buyer comes tomorrow, he'll clean this place out for sure. And you bet that clean out includes firing me, yeah? Say, uh, Wally. If I can show you how to save your job, will you let me stay the night for free? Sure. My job is worth the price of one night's stay. What's your idea, Mr. Smarty Feathers? Ooh, I'm not so sure about this, Woodpecker. Trust me, it'll work like a charm. Welcome to the Comfy Audible Inn, where we'll either treat you like a king or, hey, we won't. They have my traveling coat cleaned and pressed. Uh, oh, and get my luggage. Is that fast enough for you? No, 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 no. You can't do that. Wally, will you stick to the plan? Oh. Yeah, now you're getting it. When the buyer shows up tomorrow, he won't be interested in this place because all the guests checking out are going to be very, very unhappy with their stay. Go for it, Wally. Save your job. Hey, let me have the suit cleaned and pressed while you wait, okay? Yeah? Oops. Hey, I'm sorry. It's shrunk. <laughs> this is the worst hotel I've ever stayed in. That's gonna be our new motto. Now show our guest to his room, Wally. <laughs> Next stop, room 225. <laughs> I think you're finally getting the hang of this, Wally old chum. Yeah, I am. I like this idea of being Ding Dong Bellhop's woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> room 217, the honeymoon sleep. Come on, woodpecker, we got work to do. It's about time you got here. We wish to complain about... <laughs> Complimentary honeymoon pictures. Body makeup. Now this is service. <laughs> Ooh, Lukey. Time to recreate the crossing of the threshold. Yeah! Outside, Mrs. Hippo. <laughs> What's the big idea? Oopsie! Now you see here! Hey, Swedish cheese! Hey, Wally, maybe you ought to lighten up a little, buddy. It looks like you could use some of our honeymoon special sarsaparilla. No, Wally, you're crossing way over the line here. <laughs> Woodpecker, they'll hate my service so good, yeah? They'll complain, and the buyer will never buy this place. You're a genius. <laughs> and you've gone full on bazooties, you big fruitcake. Now stop. <sighs> that does it, buddy. You're on your own. I'm going to bed. In my free room. <laughs> it looks like my job here is done. Swedish massage. Get out! I didn't know it. Party service. <laughs> Smart service. <laughs> <laughs> All the customers have been annoyed. 
<laughs> Except one. Yeah. Room service! Hmm. I didn't order room service. <laughs> Whoa! Wally! What are you doing? Uh, you'll have the bad service, so you'll complain tomorrow, too, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> Boris, at your service. Oh, what is the meaning of this? I, uh, I've never I'd never buy a place this poorly run in a million years. My deal is off. Ooh, woodpecker! He did it, he did it! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like no more demanding customers will ever stay here again. That's right. We took care of them, yeah, you bet. Now go enjoy your room. Free of charge for as long as you like. Yeah. Comfy Ordable at last. <sighs> Birthday, not head and splinter. Yay! Black Forest cake with sawdust topping. Our favorite. I'll go get your present out of my car. You blow out the candles so the wish fairy can grant you your wish. <laughs> wish fairy, right? This sure looks like the place. Let's wish for a pet dinosaur. <gasps> Wait, where would we keep a dinosaur? Nah, let's think of something else. Hey, let's wish for laser eyes! <gasps> Hold it! Nah, we'd fry our Zakazobar comics just looking at them. Hey, what about... Nah. What about... Nope. Oh, I don't have time for this! <gasps> I'm Twiggy, your wish fairy. Here to make your birthday wish come true a lot. And I haven't got all day! Ooh, okay. <laughs> I got 4,997 frequent wisher points. I grant just three more wishes and I get a free trip to Bora Bora. So make it snappy. What's your wish? Um, er, we, I, I don't know, uh, we wish we could fly like you. Yeah, please make us fly. Make you fly. Got it. Yippity dippity. Wookily hoo. <laughs> Yeah, close enough. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Awesome. Oh, looks like a wall is making a wish with a dandelion. Duty calls. Here you go, kids. Uh, kids? Wow. Woohoo, our present. Hmm. Looks like they ate and took off. Hmm, all the better for me. I'm pooped. What he got us? <laughs> Uncle Woody! Uncle Woody! Help Uncle us open our present! <laughs> hey, I'm napping here. Darn flies! about a dandelion. He's gonna grant Wally a wish. <gasps> no, you two again? What? We want a different wish. Well, Top Cookies, there's one wish per birthday. And besides, I'm not backtracking when I now only need two wishes to get to Bora Bora. Scram! <laughs> What are we gonna do, Splinter? Our next birthday is a year away! Tweaky's job is to grant all kinds of wishes. 
Hmm, these dandelions are tricky by Yingo. So, tonight, we wish on the first star we see. And he'll have to give us a new wish. Till then, we, we gotta stop him from giving out his last two wishes. <laughs> no! Do I have to do everything myself? <laughs> oh, hello? Congratulations, Mr. Walrus! Anything you could ever wish for could be yours! You've just won ten million dollars in the sweetest meatball squaring out switch starts! I won a lot of money. All my wishes will come true. I'm going to buy a pony. I'm going to buy a pony. Yay, da, 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 da. Now, where did that walrus go? Oh, what now? Lady with a wishbone. Uh -oh. Skip the walrus. Okay, I'm all over this one. <laughs> He's gonna go get Miss Meanie one of his last wishes. Oh, yeah. Wish this! <laughs> At last, I can wish for that new pair of orthopedic arch rival loafers. Hey, what the? Whoa! Oh, be... Get back here! Ta-da! Lot! I'm Tweaky the Wish Fairy, here to grant you one wish, provided, of course, you can break the wishbone. Huh? Oh, the turkeys! <laughs> wish fairies! <laughs> hey, wait a minute! Let's get out of here! Uh-oh. Take Ooh. that! Wait! <laughs> My very godmother told me there'd be days like this. There's the first star, Splinter! Now we get a new wish! A wish? You want a wish? I'll tell you a good wish! I wish I could start the whole day over! What's happening? Splinter, we're back in time. Oh, I, I'm right back where I started. Three more wishes to win my vacation. We want our birthday wish over again. We want to be wish fairies, just like you. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No way. If you want your trip to Bora Bora, make us wish fairies. No, oh, I'm such a sellout. <laughs> Now leave me alone! So how are you gonna train him? Yeah, we got a new one. I gotta get a new job. Fifty bucks for a horse? Well, these are the finest horses hereabouts, partner. Eh, I've forgotten more about horse riding than most people will ever know, partner. And it's all about the rider, not the horse. Well, I see your ego's as big as your hat. Let me show you what else we got. Nope. 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 Too pricey. Five bucks? Now we're talking. Oh, I don't know, Mr. Woodpecker. See, uh, we just got Monty here from a royal hacienda down south. He ain't broke in for nothing but sitting around and looking pretty. Spoiled rotten, eh? You'd be lucky to get him out of the barn, much less on with the trail. I'll bet you five bucks that I'll not only get him going, but that I can beat you guys to the bottom of the canyon doing it. Your own, city slicker. Let's move him out. See you at the bottom, Woody. Not if I see you first. Rule of trail riding. A sleeping mule is not a riding mule. Wakey, wakey! Ah! with 
take lazy, pampered mules in my neck of the woods. Now we're getting somewhere. thinks he's high society, does he? Well then, I'm gonna meet this mule on his own terms. Oh, I'm saved! Dear boy, I've lost my pedigree polo horse and the match begins in only minutes. Clearly a ride of your stature could substitute. <coughs> oh, good show! Now see here, my boy, what you must do is catch up with the polo ball wherever goes. <laughs> <laughs> right then. Good show, old chum. Now let's continue our sojourn down the trail to the polo field. Huh? Well, what's the matter, old bean? You've never even been out on a trail before, have you? <laughs> Well, not to worry. Rule number four. When you got them where you want them, kill them with kindness. All a mule must do on the trail is place one hoof in front of the other and march. Left, right, left, right. Just like being back at the academy, eh, old bean? Got it? <gasps> Monty? <clears throat> Unacceptable. I ride you. March. There, there. Now you've got it. Now, this is a simple turn. I say, you're a natural. With my superior riding skills, I could turn you into a show-quality mule. Say... Ooh, no more lefts. Now turn right and don't let the coyotes bite. <laughs> See you over there hiding, you big coward! Now, what's it gonna take to turn you into a riding mule, you yellow-bellied, spoiled bag of scaredy bones? <coughs> Wait a minute. That's it. Riding rule number five. Treat a mule like a mule. But you gotta get him in a listening mood first. You want this to be your last trail ride? I could just as easily leave you out here, you know. Now, let's ride before the avalanche gets us. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. You broke that mule good. Here you go, city slicker. You're five bucks for the mule ride. Five bucks? Uh, uh, are you serious? Oh, I I'm so worth more than five bucks. I I'm at least worth a hundred bucks now. 
Oh, if you had any sense, you'd hire him to teach all your rides, Tex. He's fabulous! And, and, and I'm fabulous now for him because I can cook and I can do things with wood. I can even, I can even mend it. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Inga smorgasbord with my din din. I'm coming, Inga. Special pizza delivery for Dr. Wallenstein. Mm. Won't you stay and have a morsel with me, Inga? Thanks, but no thanks, Doc. I go for the short, red haired type. About this tall, don't you know? Well, what do you know? A perfect fit. Oh, my! Ah. Hello, I'm a Inca. <laughs> <laughs> yes, who? Oh, foodie. I'm off at 11. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> 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 I never get the girl. <laughs> they all think I'm just boring. <laughs> eh, quit your blubbering. <laughs> yep, I guess some of us got it and some of us don't. Then maybe you could show me how to be more cool, yeah, cool for the packer? Sure, if you'll put me up. I'm not going anywhere till 11. <laughs> Show Woody to the guest room. But be careful with his head. Follow me, buddy. Mm -hmm. I'm not her type, eh? We see about that. When Inga comes back, she gets the woodpecker's body, ya? Yeah? But with me inside. <laughs> Towel. Must find the towel. <laughs> My brain in your body will make me irresistible. <laughs> I am a cool woodpecker, yes, I am. <laughs> now I get that Inga girl for sure. Hey, meatball. You talking to me, Woodpecker? You're a disgrace. Look at you, pompadour falling, feathers ruffled, waddling like a chicken. <laughs> Inga will never go for you. Now let me out of here so I can help you. <gasps> no way, Woodpecker. Ha, forget it. Now we'll see who gets the girl. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, never mind, stop! Pack me something out of wood, Dan, okay? Yeah. Uh, pack? Oh, 
yeah. I am Woodpecker. Watch this. Reputation of woodpeckers everywhere. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Hey, oh, what do you know? I'm from the Bad Date Intervention Bureau. I've seen some bad dates before, bub, but yours is off the chart. Yeah, it's not going so good. What I do? You need a hat. Now go get her, partner. Yee-haw! I'm a cowpoke, y'all. Look at me, Inga. Oh, I love a cowboy hat. <laughs> ah, I'm a girl. Oh, since then, did I have tusks? Ah, oh, boy. I never did look good in chartreuse. But I'll bet this will confuse the doc just long enough so that I can change into something more comfortable. Namely, me. By Imini, Inga likes me the way I was. Better than this dumb bird suit. You bet. <gasps> <laughs> My girl! Doofed! Come on, Inga. We got a feast waiting with our feet. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Bye, Yemini. I get you, Woodpecker. Bye, bye, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get one myself. And what's that? Littering my yard, are you? No, uh, we were playing a game. And, and there was a big gust of wind. Uh, the book flew out the window. And we had to come get it back. You like games, do ya? Well, I happen to know lots of games. <laughs> Quit your catawalling. We're gonna play Guess What's for Dinner! See if you can figure out what the main ingredient is! <laughs> I've been wanting to have you two for dinner for a long time! So, did you guess what the main ingredient is, huh? Did you? She's gonna eat us! No, she's gonna cook us! Then eat us! Don't you even think about leaving. It's all stormy outside. Uh, well, uh, we were, uh, uh, uh just gonna uh, wa wash up for dinner. Good idea. I like a nice, clean dinner. Bathroom Saturday! <laughs> hmm. 
jumpy little tykes. We gotta get out of here! <laughs> Not yet. If we don't stop her now, she'll just get us later. Uh, uh, grab the hose out there! Mention barbecues. Apple keeper occupied. Oh! There you are. Where's your brother? It's not dinner without him. Uh, 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 he's um um just washing up. Good. Cleanliness is next to tastiness. I always say. <laughs> Playing my game first! to put this thing together and it's just too darn scary for them to play. Now who am I gonna get to help eat my vegetable stew? <laughs> we almost didn't make it. We gotta tell someone. Wally! You're the last ingredient I need for my woodpecker stew. Uh, he's got Uncle Woody. We gotta stop him. <laughs> You drop them, mister! We've had all the weirdness we're gonna take around here! Hey, kids, what's up? Uncle Woody? But we thought Wally was making woodpecker stew! One bowl of stew for the woodpecker. So, do you think it's good enough to win the neighborhood stew cook-off tomorrow, woodpecker? Yours is definitely up there, Wally. Come on, kids, let's go taste Meanie's stew. Oh, no! Oh, we're not going over there, Uncle Woody! Have it your way. That just means more stew for me. Oh, what do I think, Splinter? That if we keep being such scaredy cats, we'll miss out on one of oh. Uncle Woody's best ideas yet. Freaky Freaks, my mother's a freak, your mother's a freak, Freaky Ruziki, Freak Freak and Freak Again, plus the all-time horror movie classic. What the heck are you thinking? Turn on a light, stupid. Meanie, great announce. You got zip, sparkle, flare. And the constitution of a contortionist in a sardine can, sir. <laughs> You know, I think it's time you worked in the theater. I'm giving you a chance for a big promotion. Oh, oh well, well, thank you, sir. <laughs> I've been brushing up on my management training guide. <laughs> I won't let you down. Ruling, 
Attack of the Zombie Woodworms is about to end in Theater 13. Clean it out before the next show. And watch out for theater hoppers. Oh, if I catch one. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie woodworms. It's just a movie. <gasps> Got kids leaving all the seats, catty wonkers. <clears throat> Zombie worms! <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> Freeloader trying to hide in his seat for a second showing of killer zombie woodworms, huh? <laughs> Hoppers than you have tried that one, crying boy. I didn't become a manager in training five minutes ago, you know, Buster. No, no, listen, I'll pay to see another movie. Just don't make me go out in the dark. Your money's no good here, woodpecker. You're a theater hopping, movie grubbing lowlife, and when my boss finds I've kicked your sorry tail feathers out, he'll promote me for sure. Huh? <laughs> into Galactic in your hindquarters, Woodpecker! Meanie, what are you doing? Going Woodpecker wrangling, sir! Step aside! <laughs> Just need to find a nice, peaceful place to hide. The happy cults of Rocking Horse Island. This should be perfect to settle my nerves. <laughs> ah, sweet sweetness everywhere. Cole, get off that screen! Oh, best stuff that no good theater offer! Sit tight and out of harm's way, sir! could get me over my fears. <laughs> what happened to you, bub? Beanie! Yep. Know just what you mean. She's been after me all night. Here I am, sir. The little theater hopper got away, but I'll find him. You'll never get a promotion in my theater, Meanie. Not only did you tie me up, you've broken nearly every rule of customer relations. You've... You've... She scared the daylights out of me. Frightening customers! She wouldn't take my money. Refusing service! And, and most of all, you've... She was disruptive when others were trying to watch the movie. 
<laughs> Disrupting the movie going experience! She did all that? Oh, please, don't report these incidents to the theater chain, Mr. Woodpecker. It could mean my job. Well... If there's anything I can do for you... Anything? And today's feature, Citizen Woodpecker, Jurassic Woodpecker, Woodpecker and the Tramp. You know, Meanie, you got the best movies in town at your theater. I wonder who picked them. <laughs> I'll just use my lifetime free movie pass for a ticket to every flick. 